Okay, we're rolling. Got Ernest here, little Ernest Hemingway. Yeah, so excited. Let me shut this door so you don't run out there. Good, okay, good. All right, so with what uh, we worked on last week, we worked on basically uh, impulse control stuff. Oh yes, get her belly rub, welcome boy. Uh, we worked a lot on um, spatial pressure, asking for my space, uh, learning to calm down, getting really excited, calm down, getting really excited, calm down. Uh, what we're gonna work on today is leash walking. <laughs> he is so freaking cute right now. Hold on. Let's see if we can get this. Oh, this is the baby right now. See, I don't wanna go to school. I just wanna do CPs. I just want you to warm my belly. Let's see if we can back that up for enough. There we go. Oh, oh you can't even walk them. You're just so sleepy. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 so love bug. Oh my goodness, that's so nice. So yes, today I want to go over leash walking. I noticed uh, not so great on the leash. Doesn't know um, leash pressure. I call it uh, the respect for the pressure, what it means and what to do when it happens. He just, uh, you know, when he feels that pressure, he just, I'm just going to pull through it. Uh, which is not what we want. We want to be able to communicate, no, we're going this way, we're going that way, and him being okay with that. Wow, I just got really hot. Hold on, I gotta take his jacket off. I have 28 jackets on. I have 28 jackets on, it's way too hot for that. Okay. Ooh, okay, so uh, how I want to do that? First, I want to just go over, first we need the right tools uh, for walking. If, if we have the wrong tools, it's like trying to fix a car with hair dryer. You're not going to get very far um, with that. So uh, I just wanna bring up a couple things. So first I see his harness, freaking adorable, I love it. Not great for leash walking. Um, there's no way to communicate from their back which direction I want you to go. So they're deciding on their own, they don't know what's expected of them, we're just gonna pull. Harnesses, uh, all the pressure is right here up on their chest. Uh, harnesses were made, they were developed to pull equipment. Uh, for huskies who had to pull sleds, for uh, pits, rottweilers, bulldogs, who had to pull farming equipment. That's what it's made for. They're constructed so that the weight is put on a part of their body where they can put a ton of weight on and not feel it and then be okay with it. So they could do this all day for you know years and years and years. Uh, so harnesses, although, um, my, I mean my dog has a harness, but it's not for, it's for carrying things. It's not for um, walking. I never hook the leash to it because I can't communicate with him the directions we're gonna go. Um, so I wanna use his flat buckle. I like uh, his flat buckle's nice. Well, actually, I'm gonna tighten it a tiny bit. It's a little bit loose, but it's tighter than what most people have. Um, the idea of, I don't want it tighter so it chokes him out. That's not the idea at all. I actually want it tighter so it stays in a position where it's not going to choke him out. Um, that's my goal. My goal is that we don't choke anybody out today. Am I getting your ears? Where's your ear hair? There. Okay, perfect. You should only be able to stick two fingers in between um, the collar and his neck. If you can fit any more, then it's going to slide down and you're just causing him damage. We always think by making it looser that, you know, we're being nicer to them, we're making it easier for them, we're being humane. You're doing quite the opposite. We're causing a lot of damage to their tracheas and to their necks. And that's why. You hear the dogs that go, huh, 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 huh. and we think that's because of the collar, but really it's because of how we place the collar. It's really all our faults there. I know. Uh huh. Very good. Oh, I asked for my space. He gave me space. I loved that. That was really, really good. Sit. Yes. Well, that's not a sit, but I'll take it for right now. I'm really bad with buckles. There, I did it, I did it, yay for me. So placement, let's see if we can see it this way. Placement we want high and tight. Should I just bring the phone over here to show you? Um, but we want it behind the ears here, right behind the ears, under their neck right here. So we don't want it here. This is where most collars, oh you're gonna fit on me, that's so nice. Most collars are down here. This is their trachea right here, I'm actually touching it. Right here, this is his trachea. It's, this is where it's closest to the outside of his body, in this spot. And this is where I see most collars fitted. Yes, that was not feel nice. Here, up here. Oh, actually good. Well, I'm going to look up right here. If you touch, I know. I know, I'm doing weird things. If you touch right under his chin, even under your chin, you can touch right here. And there's this gap. Um, 
I wish I knew it was in there. Uh, but there's really nothing. There's no bones. There's nothing. I can press on mine pretty hard and there's nothing there. Here, the same way. I'm in a gap like between a, 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 his jaw bones right here and look at Does not mind at all. Doesn't mind at all. That's where we want the collar. Um, Oh, I know you're stressed because I'm touching you. I'm so sorry, I'm touching you all over. That's where we want the collar. So we're not choking him out, not um, uh, hurting his trachea or anything. And we're going to be able to communicate which direction we want to go here. Here is uh, when we have the placement high and tight, right here, this is perfect. Beautiful, you bring such a good, you bring such a good demonstration boy today, yes you are. When we have it high and tight here is what we're doing is we're controlling the head. Do, do. We're controlling the head, not whipping around his neck and whipping around his body. I love how my watch says I'm doing a workout. Like, that's how out of shape I am, that tightening your leash is giving me a heart attack over here. Yes, I need to work out. The more you do, oh my god, thank you for my kiss. You are such a love bug. Freaking love it. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, uh ah. -uh. Good. There, uh, exactly what we worked on last time. Oh, uh, that's facial pressure. I love a little bit of love. Don't get me wrong. This, this, this cuddling into me, I love it. But when he jumps up on my shoulders and is really getting in my face and starts pushing me, you know, that's too much for me. I love a little bit of love. I'll cuddle you all day long, but I have boundaries. Just like everybody has a boundary. Um, say you, say I were to come up to you and I were just to hug you and I'm hugging you for like three minutes. Maybe you do like hugs. I actually don't even like hugs to begin with. But maybe you do like hugs. You have a boundary of what's okay and what's not okay. And if I passed your boundary, you would communicate that with me. Excuse me, this is getting kind of freaking weird. Um, and you would communicate with that, with that with me. And if I was had any sort of social knowing, know-hows, I would quit it. Come here, Ernie. I know, you're sitting right making me nervous. I would quit because I know you were, um, thank you, thank you, uncomfortable with that. So I have been doing the same with him. Uh -huh. Very good, awesome job. I'm, I mean, it's, it's, it's how you build a great relationship. Uh, I'm not, I'm just communicating with him and saying that's too much. That's too much. And he's like, okay, okay, sorry, that was too much. And comes back and gives something more appropriate. I like this feet on the ground. He can lean up on me. That's all cool and dandy. I'm all, I'm all about that life, mister. Yes. I love that. Very good. There, he would have jumped at me. He got excited and he thought about it and did it. Yes. Very nice. Awesome job. Now we got to start this leash walking because I'm babbling on and on. And we got to start this. So, first and foremost, tools. Uh, you know, we got to have the right tools and we got to use the tools correctly. Um, we use the hammer backwards. It wouldn't help us out too much. Same with that leash. If we don't, very same with the collar. If we don't have it placed correctly. It's not gonna help us anyway, it's just gonna be garbage. So um, now we have it placed correctly. He's very intrigued in everything right now. Ernie, you've been here like a bajillion times. What, is it different today? I did bleach the floor last night. Do you smell the bleach and is that kind of throwing you off? He's like, where are the dog smells? I don't like it. it smells too clean in here. Come on, Good boy, awesome job. Awesome, oh, I don't have any treats, but I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna get some. We're gonna take a treat break here. Gotta get my power down. Okay, Ernest. Ernest. My little Ernest. Oh, you're such a good boy. Oh, you're such a good boy. You're ready to work. Uh uh. Good. He, uh, he got excited. Uh, he sat. I didn't give him the treat for sitting. I told him he was good, but I didn't give him the treat. So he jumped upon me, thinking maybe she'll give me the treat if I give that. I told him, no, that's not going to get it. I want him to sit for a couple seconds. Good job. That's what gets you the treat. Awesome job. Dad, a smart boy. Dad, a smart boy. Okay, I'm going to back you up a little bit. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Ooh, what time is it? Ooh, okay, we're at the 10 minute mark. Right here, I'm going to actually take a bathroom break really quick so that way I don't have to interrupt our thing again, but I will be right back. 